In today's video, we are going to be creating an amazing poster design for hands ketchup. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First things first, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. With a solid color in place, we are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft arm brush. Opacity is set to 100. Hardness is set to 0. So we are going to set foreground color to this hair code. Increase the brush size by the right bracket key and click once. Create a new layer. Grab a soft arm brush. Foreground is set to white. And we click once. We are going to set the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. Now we are going to create a solid color. With the layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to multiply. With the max selected, we are going to grab a soft arm brush and click once. Now let's grab our asset for this tutorial. So we are just going to hold shift and select these two items and copy them together. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Then we are just going to position everything Take our time and work on the whole composition. Grab the test. Control T and we are just going to position it right here. We are just going to select all three layers. With the arrow key, we are just going to move it up a bit. So we are going to copy this item, Ctrl C, this leaf. Ctrl J to make a copy. So we are going to put one off and we'll be working with the other one. Right click and convert to smart object. So we are just going to put it around the whole ketchup. Ctrl T to transform and we are just going to be warping and distorting it just a bit. Now we are going to be making several copies by pressing Ctrl G and putting it all together around it but we are going to be distorting and warping it a bit so they don't look identical. So we are just going to copy this branch thingy and we are just going to position it just under the leaves to make it look as if it's actually attached to the leaf. Ctrl 
control T, we are just going to warp that a bit. Control T, you right click and warp. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer. And reduce the opacity. With this layer selected. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer. Clip onto the layer. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. With the max selected, we are going to grab a soft turn brush. Opacity is set to 100, hardness is set to 100. Fog one is set to black. With the layer selected, we are going to reduce the opacity so we can actually see it through. And we are going to be masking out this portion. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With a max selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush and we are going to be painting some shadows. Foreground is set to white, hardness is set to zero. And we are going to be painting some shadows. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the max selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white. And we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. This one is for highlight clipped onto the layer with the max selected control I to invert. Foreground is set to white and we are going to paint.
example, I'm just going to copy this branch. Ctrl J to make a copy. Then I'm going to right click and flip that and okay, we are just going to position it just right here. We have it here, we are going to move it and do. So I'm just going to put it together with the leaf and merge it. With the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. So we are going to be painting some shadows with the mask selected Control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush and we are going to paint some shadows. With the brand selected, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer. Create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip onto the layer with the max selected control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. We grab a soft hand brush. We are going to reduce the opacity foreground is set to white and we are going to be painting some shadows. So I'm going to repeat the same process for all the leaves and I'll be speeding that. With a hand sketch I've selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With a max selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush and we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create a solid color. With the layer in place, we are going to set the blend mode to multiply. With the max selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white and we are going to be painting some shadows. With the layer selected, we are going to create a new layer just above it. Grab a soft hand brush, right click and change roundness. Opacity is set to 100. And we click once. Undo. We are going to set foreground to black and we click once.
Now we are just going to add these particles, try to match the color and paint some. Once we have everything in place, we are just going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert to smart object and we are going to apply camera roll. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.